thinking of going camping this summer? Don't forget your iPhone, your gourmet stove, or your chandelier. Now that may sound outrageous, but it's all part of the growing trend of luxury camping. Therese Lalonde checked out the latest must-haves for surviving in the wilderness in style. Porto Cove is a pretty place. It's nature up close, but just close enough. I roughed it a little bit worse than this. More people are taking the rough out of roughing it and making camping feel more like home, bringing rice cookers, coffee makers, little fridges, laptops, and DVD players. <laughs> Might as well, you know, why wouldn't you? If you can, bring it. You could use your old camping mug to drink your Merlot in, but you don't have to. Why not use a plastic wine glass, or better yet, stainless steel? They usually say they're going car camping, or some will even say glamping. That word is definitely starting to catch on. And they'll ask for usually the most comfortable thing. With glamping, you can drive to your spot, so you can pack bigger tents, some with up to three separate bedrooms. You can pack large, high-end memory foam mattresses, and yes, you pay more for the comfort. $100 for an LED lamp hung like a chandelier. And if you need a creamy espresso every day, this $100 pump is easy to use and oh, so portable. And we even here sell double-walled insulated espresso mugs. MEC says the demand is high for more glamping gear. Next year's catalog will have more of it. If you're willing to pay, you can take the glam tenting to the extreme on the Sunshine Coast. $500 a night gets you a soaker tub and a full bed set. Yes, in a tent. Rustic campers don't pay as much and do have it simpler. I brought this, just a chair to sit in. But let's face it, working is rough enough. A little outdoor luxury can't hurt. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.